Hello everyone, Dee Dee here and today we are going to work on a barn. I have satin oxidized a whole bunch, it's in here, a whole bunch of copper. And that's what our roof is going to be made of. But I have the layout here and have already sat and sat in the um, workings here of um, the setup for our, our ent entity cramming setup for the cows. So, without further ado, let's get this going. Actually, I need to change this block right here. This needs to be a solid block. And then there can't be a block right here. So, this needs to be... Let's go with a spruce plank. And the reason why it can't be a, um, a stairs because there needs to be a, it needs to be a solid block that will conduct a current through it and there can't be a block in front of it. Oh, wait, I could put a stair there and I could move this to the top, put it there, and then I could put a stair here, like so. And then I can put this, yeah, that works, that works. And then in here goes a bucket of water. <coughs> <coughs> I am still fighting a little bit of that cold, guys. So if I clear my throat a little bit, that's what it is. But sad story, guys. Sad story here. My son went to a wrestling invitational yesterday. And the person he rode with was tested today and confirmed to have COVID. So he is now quarantining himself to the upstairs because he is exposed to COVID. Yeah, not good. So, um, not fun times. Not fun times at all. So my surgery might get postponed again. I get tested for COVID on Tuesday to see if I can go through surgery because I have to be tested before I can go through surgery. <coughs> before I can go through surgery anyway. <coughs> okay, I have what seems to be a little froggy in my throat that just won't go away. But I was going to need to be tested anyway. So, yeah. There's that. But without knowing about all this, about um, him being at expo you know, being exposed to COVID and stuff. Yeah. 
Now there's a possibility that uh, if he ends up with that he comes back positive, that means there's a possibility I could come back positive, which, yeah, there's that. That would not be good. I really don't know what I want to do for a design for the walls here. I do have a lot of stone. I could do some stone for the walls and maybe just do pillars. Let's do this. Let's take these out. And the main walls will do like stone brick maybe. If I had actual like a lot of clay, I would do like regular brick walls. Now those are the external pillars, which will be on the outside of the building. So let's do the corners of the building itself and the external pillars. Yeah, that's what we'll do. The corners of, and the external. And then... How about the ones in between the stalls themselves? Like right here. Which is what I've got here. Two, three, four. I said four, not five. I marked it out in andesite. <clears throat> this side is going to be the cows and the horses and donkey over here. And then this is going to be the center walkway. And over here is going to be sheep. We're going to have the white, the black, the dark gray, the light gray, brown. And then we're going to have one spot, which is a little bit wider, which is going to be a color that we can change the color of sheep of whatever color we happen to be needing at the time. And there's going to be an, a spot where we can have inside and they are going to be able to go outside at their own will. So let me get a little bit more work done on this, guys, and I'll come back. Oh, um, another thing that I did in between episodes is a lot of terraforming. If you guys haven't noticed, I have closed off a lot of that open cave that was right here. In fact, I'll go down and I'll show you I, where I got a lot of the dirt from. and a lot of where what's been covered up you guys are noisy ow i am in peaceful at the moment because well um i've been spending a lot of time out at night because i've been oxidizing copper blocks 
so I've just been letting the game run constantly. But, as you can tell, Uh, let's go up here. As you can tell, a lot of terraforming has been done. And this die right here, I used to build like stairs to start the formation of the structure to come down. And this is where I came to get a lot of the dirt that I used to cover up the top part. I dug a lot of this out. And this right here is where I dug a lot out just to build the wall for where the ocean is. And this right here, this cobblestone, on the other side of that is where I have that um, cow set up at for the entity cramming cow set up. So yeah. I've been spending a lot of time doing this while waiting for the copper blocks to oxidize. Now you see why it's been in peaceful. <laughs> yeah. There's been many times where I've come out of here and it has been dark. There was a few times where I came out and it was like dark and there was creepers everywhere. I'm like, oh my god. And like instantly put the game in peaceful. So I'm like, alright, forget this. I'm leaving it in peaceful. So, but let me get a little bit more work done on this barn, guys. And then I will be back with ya. So that we can get a little bit accomplished in this episode. Including getting some of the these two cows moved over to here before I come back because that's going to be a little interesting to do. Okay, guys, I have the barn completely done, and I am in the process of moving all the animals, and I am left to move these last of the sheep. And right there is the barn. And for a roof, I have the oxidized copper and stone. And then I used stone brick, cracked stone brick, and spruce for the walls. And then I have this side open so that the sheep have more room for the... Oh, I'm going to have to go roaming for sheep. Come on, sheepies. I got sheep everywhere. Um, come on. But anyway, I did that so that the sheep have more access to grass because there are such big groups. So 
I mean, as you can see. And these ones here are the ones that are going to be the multicolor. I do have to pick some out that are going to be in the brown category. I will put these guys in and then I'll go round up the other ones. Ah, I see we have uh, another straggler. No! Whatever. I'll have to fix that later. Alright, now let's take this out of my hand so they'll stop following me and I can get out of here. Um... But I did the little bit of an indent right here. I'm going to do a little bit of decorations on the sides here. But I didn't get real fancy with it. I just wanted to get it done so that I could get the animals moved. And then I have the horses and the donkey already moved in here. And then I do have room up above. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna get up there yet. That I have not gotten to yet. <laughs> I, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get up there. I'm, think I'm thinking maybe a ladder of some sort. But I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to put it yet. I think I'm gonna put these guys over in that last stall. And these guys can be the start of my brown. Come on you guys. You are being impressed. Possible. I'm ready to put leads on ya. Okay, let's go grab those other ones. So I don't lose you th four. Let's go grab this other one. more. Yep. Alright, you six are going to be the brown ones. You are going to be my brown sheep. Wait a minute, we lost some. We lost two. Where did my leads go? You guys gonna stay with me? Or do I gotta put the leads back on ya? I don't want to put two leads on one of them, so I'm trying to get the one separate.
I'm not worried if I end up breeding them because I have plenty of brown dye. Plenty of cocoa beans, guys. Plenty of cocoa beans. And we are missing one of our leads. I don't know what happened to it. We are missing one of the leads. And yes, it's still on peaceful because, ah, uh, there's the lead. Because I've been doing this at night and I didn't want to be dealing with monsters. And I've been wearing the roof at night. I honestly don't know when the last time it was that I slept. Just being honest, I've been trying to get this done. So I'm going to sleep. Wow. I actually slept. Okay, I'm thinking... Hmm... I don't really want to cut out one of these cross beams though. Maybe. Can I go in right there? That's going to be the question. If I can get in and get up there, get up right there, that'll be the perfect spot. Perfect. See, like I said, I have plenty of storage room up here. I mean, I can put barrels up here, I can put chests up here, whatever. And that's a perfect spot right there. And that's a perfect spot because this is the area where the cows are, which push the button. Freedom. Push the button again, and they go back down. And open this up, and we can access the chest. What? When I put the donkey in here, the funniest thing ha happened. I'm going to name him Dancer, because when I put him in here, he went up on his hind legs and he must have stayed on his hind legs for a good two minutes. Like that. <laughs> Only he stayed on his hind legs for a good two minutes. It was so funny. But guys, that's about it for this one. But until next time, this has been Dee Dee. Bye bye for now.